I'm Dylan Foreman, your community reporter in San Luis Obispo, as I'm here at Cal Poly and was able to catch up with students and student government members about the local elections that took place Tuesday and how they were all involved in the voting process. The power of voting was clear to students like Ashley Spragans. Um, I decided to vote because I feel like everybody has an impact and especially in a town like this, it's really easy to pers persuade the votes one way or another, especially with the voice of the students. According to a member of Cal Poly's ASI External Affairs Committee, Alexander Levine, it was a chance for their vote to really mean something to the local elections, including the District 5 race for the Slow County Supervisor between Heather Moreno and Susan Funk. Part of this campus falls within that region, and so a big push this year was really to educate students that they can have a say in an election that represents them directly. And vote based on the changes they wanted to see, like safe, affordable housing for off-campus students, an issue that was a high priority to many who voted. Students really wanted a candidate that represented uh, students and represented ideas that they wanted, like safe and affordable housing off-campus around Slow County. Cal Poly is regularly one, if not the best school at registering voters. This year alone, it's one of the top schools in the state government's ballot bowl competition with 235 registered voters since January 1st. And we're currently winning that competition within the California State University system. We're really proud to register voters and engage students uh, and something that really does truly matter. On the ASI Cal Poly website, students are encouraged to either attend a city council meeting or a board of supervisor meeting to better understand the community they live in. In San Luis Obispo, I'm Dylan Foreman, KSBY News.